All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So it wasn't easy, but your boy managed to save up 10 stickers over the past couple of months. And today we're going to be using all of them at once in this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's pop over to the sticker tab here. And uh, I think the first unit I'm going to go with is one that a lot of people told me has a really, really dope effect. And that is this dude right here, STR Omega Shenron. Now, I don't know what it looks like, but I trust you guys. A lot of people have been recommending this guy, so let's do it. Okay, here we go. Don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. And... Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, you guys weren't playing. You guys weren't playing. That is... Oh, dude, that's so sick. That's so sick. I mean, look, I, I should have expected this because any, um, any, any unit with like this big ball of energy in their card art usually looks really, really good. But dude, yo, that is, that's amazing, man. Yo, I am so happy with this sticker investment. Like, this is 100% worth it. This isn't like uh, when I gave like Tech Trunks or like Tech Ultimate Gohan, like those guys um, had pretty underwhelming effects. I'm not going to lie. Like even now... Even though I've had some time to think about it, I still kind of regret giving them... I mean, I don't regret it because, like, they're awesome units, but, like, their effects are kind of lame, let's be honest. But this guy, yo. This guy's legit. Yo, I'm kind of curious about the Fizz one now. I don't know if the Fizz Omega would actually, um, you know, look nearly as good. Let me, let me actually find his card here. There's Fizz Omega. Oh, you know what? You know, with that, like, big ball at the bottom here, that could actually look pretty sick, too. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, like, look at these in advance, right? Because I wanted it to be completely, like, a complete surprise. And STR Omega worked out so well. Um, maybe Fizz Omega would also be just as dope, you know? Hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Uh, let, let, let's give him a sticker, too. We got 10, right? We got some, we, we got some stickers to spare. Come on. Oh, that's pretty sick. That, I, I mean, they, they could have done more with the ball, right? They could have they could have done more with that effect right there. It's 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 a little bit tame. It's a little bit tame. Let's be honest. I mean, after coming off of the STR Omega, this is uh, definitely kind of underwhelming in comparison. Gotta be honest. But hey, hey it's it's still it's still okay. I'm trying to justify my sticker use right there. <laughs> I'd say we're one for two right now. I'd say we're one for two right now. All right, so who else could potentially have a dope effect? Oh, okay, you know what? I don't know how good these guys look, but just for how good they are as units, they definitely, you know, deserve these stickers, right? So let's give one to AGL Gogeta. I've been meaning to give this guy a sticker for a long time now, so now that we have a ton, um, that's not bad. That's not bad, that's not bad, yo. I like the swirl around him. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on with like those blue, uh, I don't know what to call them, like lightning spiky things. And uh, obviously we got the aura, the Super Saiyan aura too. So that's kind of cool. Now the real question is, what does Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta look like? Here we go. That's decent. Okay. Okay. So same, same thing. Basically, just the swirl around him, and then we got the light and the aura. Um, I think they could have done a little bit more maybe with his blue aura, you know, make it a little bit more crazy, but it's clean. It's clean. I'll give it that. All right. So, so far we have one that really blew me away. We have one that was a little bit underwhelming and then one that's kind of medium. I would say the AGL Okojita is medium. Okay. So the other guy that I want to give a sticker to is this guy right here. Um, I could have given him a Goku exclusive sticker. Who did I give that Goku exclusive sticker to? It must have been Super Saiyan Blue Kai and Goku, maybe. Anyways, he deserves a sticker for sure, for sure. I mean, it just he's just so iconic, right? The moment he represents in the show, and eh, all right, all right. He he deserved it as like a unit, you know, just like what he represented. Even though it's not that impressive, um, that that was a little bit better. Okay, you know, the Super Saiyan Goku is a little bit better. But uh, even though it's not as, you know, impressive, I don't regret the use. I don't regret just giving this unit 
you know, that, that treatment. Um, okay, who else? Who else? Let me think. I mean, Bardock, I think, deserves it, but I don't feel like his effect would look that cool. Same thing with this guy right here. I don't think he'll look that good either. Um, how about... Ooh, how about this dude right here, man? I heard his sticker animation is absolute fire, so let's go for it. He's not a unit that I use a ton, but I do run him every once in a while. And uh, at this point, it's not really about which units we use. It's just about which units have good effects. And I think this guy will probably not disappoint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, man, yo. Yo, how come they're giving these, like, I wouldn't call them side units, but, like, not, like, main, you know, new Dokkan Fest units the best effects, man? Because, like, STR Omega is, like, super old, even though he is a Dokkan Fest. This guy's not even a Dokkan Fest unit. And he has a better effect than probably, like, 80 to 90% of Dokkan Fest units in the game right now. Wow. Yo, somebody over at Akatsuki really likes Metal Cooler. Yo, Goresh designed this effect, didn't he? I swear, he contacted somebody at Bandai and was like, Yo, you better give Int Metal Cooler the sickest effect. And this is what happened. That is awesome, man. I think the best ones are, you know, cards that have like three things going on, right? Like an aura, but also like something else going on in the, you know, spikes, the lightning, and also some kind of like a, you know, ball of energy. In their art right just like this guy right here there's like three elements and that's why i think it looks so sick and the colors work too right i think maybe it's the colors as well or something like that but i love it i love it okay so those two the the omega shenron and also the metal cooler are definitely the top two so far uh what about this cooler man oh no, that's that's a masu what about this cooler hmm i mean <sighs> I kind of feel like it's going to be a similar situation to the, you know, STR Omega to the Phase Omega where, you know, one of the Omega Shen runs was really, really dope and then the other one was, you know, really bland. I think this guy's going to be the same thing. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't know if I want to risk it, man. We only got like four stickers left. Um, maybe Jiren. Maybe, maybe this dude right here. Nah, he's going to be disappointing. Just like every single time I see him in my summons, I'm disappointed. His sticker effect, I'm sure, will also let me down. So we're gonna stay away from him for now. Um, who else do I wanna give an effect to? I mean, I really like this Goku and this Vegeta. So even though I'm not sure if they'll look good, I might just give them stickers just cause. Uh, okay, let's start with Vegeta first. Let's start with Vegeta. If he looks good, then I'll give a sticker to Goku as well. If he doesn't look good, then... Oh, he's not bad. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. That, that's, that's decent. That's decent. Uh, let's see Majima Tita real quick. Um, yeah, he's, he's not bad. I mean, he's got the triple effect going, right? He's got the spikes. He's got the aura. He's got the ball, too. But the... I don't know. It doesn't quite mesh as well as the Metal Cooler, right? Like, he doesn't look nearly as clean as that guy. Like, look... Okay. Just, just quick reminder, right? Like, look, look at this cooler, man. Look at this cooler. Where is he? It's like, how freaking clean is that? That's beautiful. That, that is like an LR level effect, in my opinion. Like, he looks better than some LRs. There are some LRs with really whack animations. Let's be honest. And this guy is super clean. Like, if somebody, if, if for some reason I didn't know what Int Metal Cooler looked like, and somebody showed me this art and told me that it was for a new LR Metal Cooler, I'd be like, okay, that sounds about right. Like, that looks like it, right? So, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to top him or the STR Omega today, but let's try a few others. Like, for example, what about Int Gogeta, right? Int Gogeta is about to get an easy A, and his easy A is absolutely glorious. So I think maybe we should just give it to him in advance, right? Uh, where is Int Gogeta? Let's see. I'm actually blind right now. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so Int Gogeta. Taking a risk here, but I I I'm getting ready for that easy A. 
Oh, it works. It works. Okay. Okay. That that's another like mid tier effect, I would say. So, no regrets with that one. And now we got three stickers to go. Who else deserves it? Who else deserves it? Now, I was thinking of giving like these multi-stage um, units stickers, right? Because like there's five different transformations, so it's like you're getting five effects for the price of one. But after how underwhelming the um, you know other multi-stage effects were for like these other units, I'm not really feeling it anymore. So I think I'ma stay away from them at least in today's video. And why don't we give an effect to... Oh, I feel like 17 would be pretty sick, man. I feel like 17's got all the right elements to look awesome. That... You know what? It's simple, but it really works. <laughs> it really works, man. I like what's going on. Yeah, with that blast in his hand. Like, it's kind of... I don't know how to describe it, but... It's almost like it's melting. It's like some kind of a water effect, I guess, right? And it looks really cool. It looks really cool. And considering how good this guy is with the EZA, I really don't regret that either. Okay, how many stickers do we have left? We have two more. Okay, we have two more. Gotta make the right decisions. The last Dokkan Fest TUR that I pulled was this guy right here. And I do like him. And there are three stages. But once again, man, these multi-stage, you know, units have really let me down in the past. So... I'm pretty hesitant about him. Um, Kid Goku is dope, but I don't really know if he... Yeah, I don't really feel like he'd be that cool either. I feel like Gotenks. I mean, I don't know if he's going to look good, but obviously he will be getting an Extreme Z Awakening soon, so I might want to just give him a sticker for that reason. Uh, same thing with the Super Saiyan 4s, right? Like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but then even with the EZAs, I don't see them being better than the LR versions, so... That's a tough call too. All right, you know what? Since he's probably gonna be the next Dokkan Fest EZA on Global, I'm gonna give a sticker to Int Kid Buu. And I don't think I'm gonna regret it because we're probably not gonna be getting... It's all right. <laughs> it's kind of like the... Um, actually, it's actually very, very similar to the Fizz Omega. It's not bad, I just... I just feel like they could have done more, but uh, like I said, he is going to be the next Dokkan Fest EZA, most likely, and I don't really see us getting that LR Kid Boo anytime soon, so I'll probably get some use out of him on that Majin team. And uh, the last unit we're going to go with, I think we're going to take a little bit of a risk. I'm thinking like this dude right here, or maybe, nah, nah, I don't want to do two Kid Boos. Yo, this Kid Boo probably would have been so much better. So this kid boo probably would have been so much better, man. I regret giving it to the int now. The fizz one with that huge ball right there. Man, that would have been good. Hey, you know what? I'll probably never run him over the LR. But I'm going to give a sticker to my boy, STR, Super Saiyan 4, Goku. And... Okay. <laughs> immediate regret <laughs> immediate regret i was thinking of doing like another you know less popular unit like this dude right here or maybe this guy right here and i think they would have been probably much better choices because of just like the way their art you know is set up like this guy probably would have been amazing but you know, I guess we'll save it for the next video, right? Like every video, we got to have some highlights and some disappointments. And we definitely had that in this video. I would say two or three out of the ten were absolutely top tier, right? And then a few were just okay. And then some other ones were just like, man, I want my sticker back. But hey, what's done is done. We'll get more stickers in the future. So... It's all good. And that is going to be today's video, guys. I'm going to leave it off on the first unit that we uh, stickered up today, which is this dude right here. And guys, if you haven't given him a sticker yet, think about it, man. Just just look at this. Just look at this. Now, it would have been much better without the diamond background, in my opinion, but it still looks awesome. 
nonetheless. And uh, we'll be back in the future with another one of these videos once I collect 10 more stickers so we can make, you know, a full fun video out of it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I made the right choices. And also, who did you recently give uh, some stickers to? And yo, give me some recommendations, give me some ideas for units to give stickers to in the next video so I don't make as many mistakes next time, okay? But that's it guys, thank you once again for watching, as always. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.